Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Chad asks Clyde about Abby's survival story, and Rafe wants more evidence of Gabby. Days of Our Lives, DOL, spoilers for Thursday, June 13th, uncover that Clyde Weston, James Red, will land back at the Salem PD following all the show in Montana. That will provide Clyde with an opportunity to question Ray Fernandez, Galen Gehring, regarding Gil Carter, David S. Lee, and try to gather additional evidence that might help clear the name of Gabby Hernandez de Mera, who was last played by Camila Banis. Naturally, Clyde won't give Rafe much information, but Billy Flynn's Chad DeMera will want to work with Clyde next. Fans of DOL can anticipate Chad spending some time alone with Clyde in the interrogation room, where he will demand the entire Abigail DeMera story, which was previously played by Marcy Miller. Chad will press Clyde to explain how it's possible that Abigail is still alive now that he insists on it. Sadly, Day's spoilers state that Chad won't have much success with Clyde either, so even after this heated exchange is over, he will still be concerned about the veracity of Clyde's claims. Different Day's spoilers say Johnny DeMera, Carson Boatman, will give Chanel DeMera, Raven Bowens, reports on his bid for employment in Los Angeles. Johnny will be of the opinion that Chanel ought to have all the information, even though he won't want to force her to move away with him. Deidre Hall's Marlena Evans persuaded Johnny to tell Chanel right away, so he will. He will be surprised by her willingness to leave her bakery and move to Los Angeles with him. When Kate Roberts Brady, Lauren Coslow, reunites with Lucas Horton, Brian DeTillo, she and Kate will hear some good news. According to Day's spoilers, Kate will be pleased to see Lucas safely home, and it appears that Lucas will officially be free thanks to Steve Burton's Harris Michaels. Lucas will appear in scenes with Kate and Roman Brady, Josh Taylor, who will hopefully get his release from custody now that the Montana mission is over. Our predictions indicate that Kate will celebrate Lucas's new chapter and may inquire about his plans now that he has left prison. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers, Lucas will have to consider the future, so keep an eye out for that. Leo inquired as to whether he made certain, as Leo could as a rule suss these things out. After reiterating his straightness, the man thanked Leo for the water and then fled. With a bewildered expression, Leo sank back to the table. Marlena called John in her office to talk about his trip to Greece. She thought about the pawn card as she finished the call until she heard a knock at the door. Johnny came in and inquired about Marlena's availability for him. Marlena asked her grandson what he wanted to talk about and reassured him that she had. With a chuckle, Johnny said, my entire future. Johnny informed Marlena of his job offer and lamented that he didn't want Chanel to choose between his dreams and Salem life. Marlena disagreed, arguing that Chanel might be more upset about being kept in the dark and that she might want to sacrifice for Johnny. Subsequent to listening to Marlena, Johnny concurred that he ought to give Chanel the choice. He inquired about Marlena's perception of the opportunity. Although she would miss Johnny, Marlena acknowledged that she believed he should seriously consider accepting the offer. Johnny focused the conversation on Jude's situation. Johnny was conflicted because he felt terrible for his uncle Eric and was happy for his dad and Nicole. Marlena acknowledged that the circumstance was challenging but reassured herself that Jude was in the right place. Johnny acknowledged that he would be late for his appointment and expressed gratitude to his grandmother for her guidance. Marlena wished him well and got him to promise to talk about the possible job with Chanel before he left. Leo barged into the office later and sat in her visitor's chair while Marlena was working on paperwork. He exclaimed that Marlena was needed. Leo declared, with my head and my heart, that he needed assistance before Marlena could speak. Marlena advised him that cardiology was on another floor, and she proposed he make an arrangement to converse with her. Marlena was proclaimed the best shrink in the world by Leo, who protested that it couldn't wait. Leo acknowledged Marlena likely despised him in view of will yet in addition suggested that Marlena owed him after will had moved Leo up in a dusty old floor covering and left him for dead. Marlena gave in and said she would listen to Leo. He launched into a tirade about flirting too much and hitting on a straight man because he was insecure and wanted to be loved. Marlena praised the observation as psychologically astute after being impressed. Before Marlena could read the letter from Dimitri, Leo began rambling about the letter's contents and linked his insight to his binge on self-help books. 
Marlena inferred that Leo was irritated by the breakup. Marlena was amused when Leo mentioned that he was attractive, intelligent, funny, and tall among his good qualities. She concurred that he had numerous great characteristics, which provoked Leo to consider, why am I so detestable? Marlena heard Leo's story about his most recent interaction with his mother, who had characterized him as a worthless human being. Marlena thought Diana was to blame for Leo's low self-esteem and described Diana as a very disturbed woman. Leo quickly made it clear that he thought he was fabulous and that his primary concern was how other people perceived him. Leo was challenged by Marlena, who suggested that Leo might not really like himself as much as he claimed. Leo smiled broadly and extolled Marlena's capabilities as a doc. Leo corrected himself after Marlena reprimanded him for referring to her as a doc. He admitted that even though he tried to smile, he was tortured and miserable 75% of the time. He questioned Marlena about his prospects. Marlena guaranteed Leo there was potential for everybody, and she consented to assist him, paradise with helping me. Marlena explained to a confused Leo that she was concerned that his funny stories and adorable take on things would distract her. Despite his dislike of work, Leo pledged to be as unfunny as possible and agreed to do the work Marlena required of him. Leo, relieved, accepted her card and promised to schedule a lot of appointments so Marlena could crack this nut wide open. Marlena smiled with exasperation as he left. In the examining room of a hospital, Johnny joined Chanel. She told him that she had had an argument with his father about the baby and Chanel's mother when he asked about her day. When Chanel revealed that EJ had wanted to talk about options for the baby, Johnny became enraged. Chanel expressed that she'd dealt with it and asserted she didn't believe Johnny should express anything for her benefit. Johnny questioned why Kayla was still there and insisted that he would be her backup whenever necessary. He told Chanel that while they waited, he wanted to talk to her. The individual who had been interacting with Leo earlier entered the room before Johnny could proceed. He presented himself as Dr. Green explained that Kayla had been summoned to an emergency location. Chanel observed the specialist's last name and inquired as to whether he was any connection to her client Felicity Green. Dr. Green proved Felicity to be his sister. Felicity had told him good things about Chanel. Chanel acknowledged their shared admiration. Dr. Green informed Chanel and Johnny that the pregnancy appeared to be going well based on his examination. However, they would still need to confirm through the test results. The couple was cheerful at the information. The fact that the doctor gave them his card with the name Mark Green on it surprised Johnny. They made jokes about the name's connection to an ER doctor character. Dr. Green traded further merriments with Johnny and Chanel then, at that point, let them be. Chanel was interested to know what Johnny had intended to talk about earlier. Johnny took a deep breath and inquired about Chanel's feelings regarding leaving Salem.